Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Star Sonata 2. This one's been threatened for a while. So uh, I'm going to create a new character. I just want to show the tutorial and kind of give an indication of what this is like. Uh, AS Kitami. I basically use Kitami based ones all the time. Uh, welcome new pilot. The universe is vast. We have to, have to start somewhere. There are some people who would like to join you to join them. They will teach you how to fly, fight and trade. It's up to you to go out into the universe and find your fortune and fame, or perhaps infamy. So this is a pirate acolyte. You will be the seedy underbelly of the universe, smuggling illegal goods or taking out a rival. You'll let nothing stand in your way to the top. See the universe, serve your planet, join up today. Earth Force needs you as an Earth Force cadet. You'll join the ranks of Earth's elite pilots and help defend the universe from all manner of threats by pirate and alien. We're gonna join them. Let's try flying your ship. Plus W, it's basically that. Okay, ship controls, let's fire weapons, spacebar. I'm a really bad shot in this game, by the way. Like, a seriously bad shot. There is a certain amount of... Ah! A.S. Katami, thanks for the help. There were many Vulcan scattered. Seems our freighter is finally safe. You took that Vulcan, but I know you're still inaccurate with your blasters. Here's some drones to practice on. Destroy them. So, basically, you now have to fight these drones. And there is a certain amount of... Uh, I need to... Uh... Music is quite nice. Uh, just do that. So, yeah. The one thing I can definitely say about this game is the music is fantastic. Now, you can autopilot using right click. Uh, you look lost. Press V key to autopilot towards the targeted wormhole. That's not what I want. I want this. Oh, come on! Come on! God, I suck at this game. I think those are drones. <laughs> I could be wrong. Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. There we go. Come on. Okay, that's one. Uh, if you're if you're watching this game and thinking, "Wow, that game has a lot in common with Astroflux," you you would definitely be kind of right. I'm actually going to have to turn my own sound down a little bit. Uh, you would absolutely be right to say that there is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of, um, there's a lot of, uh, correlations between Astroflux and, I completely missed. And one, I think is a spell, okay, target drawing two is nearly impervious to all damage types use your mini mass driver device super item again when it's charged to penetrate their armor these ones also have a powerful energy pulse weapon you'll have to avoid okay and that's one so basically you have two a weapon two attacks you have your standard attack and then like in a lot of these kind of games you have a Power attack, which in this case is the mini mass driver. Uh, Doc of the Cadet Academy, it's time to receive some more intensive training. Okay. Okay. And right click automates an awful lot of various things. So, Enforcer, excellent work, congratulates. 
Excellent work, congratulates Enforcer Watch McCollum. I am Enforcer Watch McCollum, and you are on your way to being quite a pilot. Between that Vulcan and these drones, I can say your cadet material for sure. Enforcer Ogresil pats you on the back. You're one of the best recruits to come through here in a while. Yeah, it doesn't say a lot. Train weapon rate level one here at the Cadet Academy. You can do this by accessing the skills tab. Your training skills require skill points. You receive five points each time you level up. So uh, basically, you go here and uh, yeah, this is, this is interesting. I'm just gonna be quiet. Yeah, it hurts to do that, which kind of sucks. Um, now, what else do we have? Towing, what, yeah, 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 no, towing. Do I have any, are there any available weapons? Do I have enough money to buy an available weapon? Uh, let's see, that's the stat ship I'm starting with. I'm simple and mid-sized multi-purpose with style. That has more augmenters, but they're not important right now. Um, hmm. Now the alternative is to put in something that has a bit more energy to it. Just a little bit more kick. So I'm currently using this which has not a whole lot of venting. It's 1220. That's 200, 700. These are reservoirs basically. They're used to uh, store energy. And uh, yeah, so. General, uh, contact agent. Train weaponry, I've done that already. I've done that. New training requires skill points, which you gain with experience. Use your cadet's beam to kill target dummy Mark III for Enforcer. Okay. So we have the cadet's beam. And the cadet's beam is actually probably the weapon I prefer, to be honest. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Inventory? Uh, okay, so all I need to do now is press E. There we go. Much better. And I prefer, just like in Astroflux, I actually prefer the beam weapons. Although, it must be said that, uh, it's easier done. Okay, since you're past your, knee, your training, it's time to go through a, uh, I need to go over to the outpost, which actually means I think I need to go, yeah, I need to go that way. And again, you can autopilot by right clicking and you just click on it and it takes you where you want to go. So there are, without a doubt and without any exaggeration, parallels between this and Astroflux. It seems reports of the air there, yeah, continue and stuff. Um, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to fight these guys. Hey, 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 hey. That's one. That's two. And, uh... Oh, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> it has to be here somewhere. Volcom Shoemaker? Uh, okay. I guess maybe that's what I'm supposed to attack? Come on. There we go. Outstanding, Aes Katami. Don't rest on your laurels. The Volcoms still have an outpost here. Laying siege to the Earth outpost. Okay, so they have an outpost laying siege to an outpost. And I know you're not ready to take the pirate station. You're going to need some more training. This space station micro fabulous should offer electrical engineering and dock there and train in it. Yes, it is named micro fabulous. So 
so we go back to skills and we go to electrical training and we scream now I need to equip my ship with the hot fusion so we go to trade we go to this we buy one I did buy one didn't I uh, where is it where is it Okay, and we equip. Oh, hang on. I need to unequip. Uh, cancel. I need to go to equipped. I need to go to flux capacitor. I need to unequip. Go to unequipped and equip. And there we go. And as you can see, you have hull space, and that takes two hull space, basically, I think. Might take more, actually. It might take a lot more. But anyway, that's about it. neither here nor there. Uh, go to general. Uh, contact agent. Oh, one. One. Seriously, you want me to equip? One. Okay. Do I have it equipped? I do have it equipped. Close. Now, why in the hell won't you let me finish? There we go. Great. You should have a memory bank. Yada, yada, yada. Destroy the Volcom outpost in Earth, in Earth Force outpost. I think there are serious localization issues with this game. Uh, a lot of the text in it really sounds very much like it was written by someone for whom English is not a primary language. So, you know. Destroy the Volcom outpost. You can scoop debris dropped by destroyed ships of guns pressing the C key okay you're all trained up accept okay so essentially this is the game not joking this is the game uh, cadet academy earth force okay so this one goes to whiskey outpost this one goes to the nexus which is not where we want to go I don't think ah Vulcan earth command yes now, supposedly there is a badass in this area laying siege. Uh, I have to admit, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I'm not seeing it at all. Oh, there it is. Is that it? That's it. Okay. So we're going to close in. Nice and close. And we're going to go... And so basically, you can target enemy uh, missiles, which is kind of cool. You have a shield buff, which is also pretty cool. I don't think you can target the... Uh, the enemy's uh, energy weapons. And that's it. Do, 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 do. You've done a great service to both the Earth Force and the civilians we serve. No longer must they live in fear life of live in fear of a pirate attack. Now you have a new mission by order of Earth Force Command. Yeah. So this is where we're supposed to go next, and, uh... Oh, it's... What? There we go. So, what do I have to say about this game? Because I'm not actually going to do a whole lot more of it, because I I may do a full playthrough in the future, I'm not entirely certain. It's one of those games where I'm kind of on the fence on that. But what do I have to say about it? Uh, it's fun. It's... A little bit knacky to control and it, as you can see I haven't played it in about a week because I was talking thinking about it and trying to figure out what I wanted to do and how I was going to review this it does have a pretty high skill level when it comes to controlling your ship to begin with at least you do get better ships you do get better equipment all of which is cool I do love the style of it I love the way it looks I love the uh, I love the ship designs. I think they're kind of fun and a bit different. They 
definitely are go away from the kind of traditional uh, let's rip off Star Trek or Star Wars thing, which is great. I like the fact that it has this form of quest or mission handing. I like the space station system. I like the skill system. Like, I really like the skill system. I like that you end up screaming. Because it's the, it's the first game like this I've ever come across where you learn skills and it you pay a really high cost to learn those skills. That's cool. Where is it let down? It's let down with this. This is fine. The map system is pretty fine. It's... It's relatively robust. The navigation system is simple. You move from area to area using these wormholes. That's fine. It's this. I don't understand why they've gone for this way of showing what your ship is using. And it kind of gets to me a little bit. I would like there to be a graphic of your ship and you drag and drop your equipment into it from an inventory. So like you go into your cargo and you drag it over, drop it and it's there. To me that would make more sense. This it kind of harks back to the SSI era of, of RPG computer games for things like the Mega Drive. Actually the Mega Drive is a good example because it reminds, this reminds me very much of the Buck Rogers games for the Mega Drive where it's very much click and open a menu and tell what you wanted to do and that's fine don't get me wrong it's not bad it works it's perfectly functional I just don't massively like it it's um, it's not the best system I've ever come across um, Oh, by the way, these are augments. Augments are kind of cool. Uh, I can also dump that. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's a case of do I really want to um, do I really want to spend time doing this using this kind of interface when I used that inter kind of interface when I was a kid. And I didn't like it then. And it's one of the reasons why I don't like um, a certain branch of MMORPGs. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of one in particular. I can't think of it. But anyway, it's one where basically it's real money. And in-game you can make real money, yada, yada, yada. And it uses the same kind of interface. And I'm not a fan of it. We have moved on from this. Seriously. Even Minecraft clones have a better UI for cargo and what have you than this. That said, this is literally the only thing I can criticize about this game. As I said, the way it looks is it's nice, it's pleasant to the eye, it's very easy on a system, it's free to play, This is, and this game does not need all that much in the way of um, system resources to run. It's great in that respect. I like, I really enjoy the quest system. I'm even enjoying the story to a degree. I'm enjoying the humor that's in the game. It's a fun game. It's a good game. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But yeah, this, <coughs> there's nothing wrong with the game as a whole, but this is my issue. Why can I not Do that and see what's there. Why? Why would you not have the ability to just drop into this and do it that way? It just... I don't know. Maybe there is a way. But it doesn't look like it. And I haven't been able to find one yet. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been Star Sonata 2. Do I recommend it? Actually, yes. This is a personal bugbear. Bad inventory systems are a bugbear of mine. I hate them. But this game overall is well worth playing. The music is good. The visuals are good. The humor is great. The quests are interesting. You even end up fighting space rats. I mean, it, there's little nods to role-playing games scattered throughout the game. 
it's great it's fun for that respect once you get to grips with the controls and the way the game is run it's really good fun out of five i'd give it a four it's a pretty damn good decent game highly recommended but if like me you get jarred by this you'll get used to it eventually i did anyway this has been star sonata uh i will be back again in the future with another review of a cheap or very very easy on your computer game in the meantime be good have a great day and bye for now <laughs>